Hi, in this video I want to explain about subsurface scattering in Blender. You can use it on any surface, not just human skin. I have a 3D model here with materials and textures that I created in Substance Painter. Textures are attached to all channels such as base color, normal, etc. And I use Udim for all textures. If you don't know about Udim, don't worry, you can continue watching this video. Let's press Z and go into the render mode. The current material is very simple, I want to create something like this. As you can see, there is no transmission on the skin when the light passes through. SSS can help me to implement transmission. Let's work on it. Increase the subsurface field, it's the SSS intensity. Oh no, that's too much. But before we change that, let's change the color. The entire surface is changed to white. Let's try 0.1 for intensity. Much better. Light is transmitted through thin parts. Let's try another view. I have to reduce it again. It's much better. As you can see, it's almost natural, especially the ear. But we need to make it more natural. Let's change the SSS color to something close to red. You can change the color to anything, it depends on the surface. Let's compare white and red. Red is better, but we need to work on it more. We can connect diffuse color to the SSS color. Now let's see the result and compare it with the previous one. Diffuse is much better. Now it's time to introduce radius SSS. It's SSS distribution. We can see three numbers here, but the first number is more important. Increase it to see the results. Let's compare it to radius 1. I think it's more natural, but the intensity is too high. Let's reduce the SSS radius to 1.3. If we change the second number, the whole SSS color will be ruined. I'm not saying don't change the second and third numbers. These two numbers are the minimum range of the SSS and you should be careful. Let's tune down the intensity a bit. These two values are good for radius and intensity. Another technique you can use is SSS texture. This is a grayscale texture that you can create in Photoshop or Substance Painter. Wider areas have higher SSS intensity. Create a new fill layer in the Substance Painter. Go to Texture Set and add Scattering. Now I can see the scattering channel in my layer. Just select this channel. Go to Scattering Mode uh, from the top right. Change the value 
a little. This is the base SS layer. Let's create another layer for overlay. I need to specify a wider color for it. Mask the layer with a black mask and add a paint layer to it. Paint the areas where you want more SSS. Ok, let's add the SSS texture to material. Drag it to the blender, it's UDIM. And color switch should be known color or raw because the texture is grayscale. Finally connect it to the subsurface. Okay, that's too much. Let's add a math node using Shift A. Connect it to the SSS texture and change it to multiply. With a smaller multiplier value, we have a weaker SSS. It's still too much. Ok, I think it's better. Let's see the final result. I have to check other views. It works well. Ok, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and don't forget to subscribe my channel.